Hello, and welcome to another JDS Meow Kitty gaming video. In this Now We Know video, we're going to make a quick trip down to a jump town and have a little uh, look around. So following some instructions that you can easily find on YouTube, I'll, I'll aim for the three mountains off in the distance. Burn through the atmosphere. As we approach here, you can see a little grey patch start to form. We'll swing the ship around. It looks like there's a, a cutty black. And looks like an, an aurora. And a messed up looking Connie. The first thing we know is that there's a there's a lot of floodlights around the jump town outpost. It's about twice the size, if not more, than than previous. There's a lot more containers around the outside and some boxes. A lot of sets of landing gear around the the outpost for some reason. Taking a closer look, as you can see, there's a lot more going on on the, the roof of the outpost now. Turn the floodlights on. Have a quick look around on the roof. It's a lot of containers that you can hide on. A lot of look like uh, guard houses with a bit of cloth over the top for coverage. So we'll put the ship down here. Turn the floodlights off. And we'll hop out of the ship. I'll go out the front because it's a lot, a lot quicker. And straight away you start to get the negative 40 degree cold alert. Run to the front airlock. And it doesn't seem to want to let me in. I guess I might be bugged out. Just have a, a quick look at this this Connie, see what's going on. And there's the cutty over there. Looks like they got the ramp door open. We'll try the door once more. I'll give up on that. Now I believe there's supposed to be a an entrance in the bottom here somewhere. There it is. Lit up with a blue light. It's looking a bit eerie in here. A few walls for coverage. Laptop. There's a ladder, we'll climb the ladder. There's a ramp to go up a bit higher. There's some ammo packs on the ground. We'll walk across this gangway. There's the next guard house. There's some containers down there you can hide behind and I'm pretty sure you could climb up and jump across. So we'll look at the visibility up here. Seems that you can see quite a lot, but that also means that snipers could take you out pretty easily if they come prepared. Check out over here. Looks like there's some heaters. There's a fixed gun. Wonder whether you could interact with the floodlight. Doesn't look like it. It'd be good if you could point the floodlight at a particular area so you could light it up. Crouch down to go under here. It's another guardhouse. Another floodlight. Now you've got perfect visibility for people that are going to be running into the door. Now you can see Crusader in the distance. And there's that 
Aurora flashing away. So we'll go back down the ramp. Check out this main stack of oh, it's a stack of clothing and some guns, ammo. Let's follow this arrow around here. It looks like someone's made a little bed here, a little fireplace. I think my is my survival estimate going up. Yeah, it looks like it goes up when you're near the fire. Well, there's a circuit breaker. I wonder if you can turn it off. No, there's an on-off switch, but it doesn't look like you can interact with it. So we'll go back around here where we climbed up the ladder. Go back up the ramp and we'll work our way to the other side of the outpost. Then we'll take a big leap. Get back down and we'll have a look inside the outpost now. So I'm on the other side of the outpost. There's a second door. Looks like the airlock door is going to work this time. Depressurize the airlock. Go inside and straight away you can see that there's a little gun position right there. So we'll jump over, have a look. Turn around, yeah, you can you can easily hide away behind there. Someone could easily throw a grenade or launch a grenade launcher in there. Fortunately, I'm on my own in here. And that door doesn't work. So that's where the packages will come out, so you can pick them up as they're being processed. Keep looking around, there's lots of places you can hide behind. There's a little offshoot back here. You crouch down, watch people go past. Now it looks like there's a, a helmet down there, so I think that some must have probably died here. There's an ammo crate on the ground. Definitely get a, an eerie vibe. And there's the other, other entrance or exit. The one that wasn't working. And now you've got another little lab here. There's another package dispenser. Keep going, some more places where you could hide. And now we're back where we first came in. I was sprint around the other side, and I think I saw some see-through mesh where you could shoot down as I was running through there. Open up the airlock. Nope, it's still not working from this side. So I'll run around to the other side and see where that'll let me out. There we go. Depressurize again. And we'll head back out. So there's some more landing gear. There's some containers that you could be able to walk through, hide under. Looks like you might be able to see through there and shoot through there. So we'll go around and have a look in there. Yeah, you can look like you can aim through that little slot. Let's run around to where my ship is. Looks like there's a little fortification set up down the bottom there. You might be able to hide behind. Just a quick check of the cargo bay, see where there's anything sitting there. 
Now let's get back into my ship. Climb up the ladder. Let's have a look at these other ships. Connie's owned by game rules. Let's have a look at that roar over there. It's blinking away like it's actually a, a fresh new ship. Start scanning it. No, that one's owned by game rules as well. So it's probably other players that have come to check out the new jump town and then abandoned their ships. So one last look at the outpost. It's pretty pretty impressive compared to what it used to be. If you're not prepared, it'll be hard to hold due to multiple entrances and lots of places to hide. And if it's being defended well, it'll be hard to take. And let's fly off. Put the afterburners on. And see what adventures I can go on next. So if you enjoyed the video, you found it helpful looking at the new jump down, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.